Hey guys, welcome back in Codespear. So today in this video, I will show you that how you can download these videos permanently in your internal storage. Yes guys, so for this simply click on this show video. You can see that when I will click on this text view. So we came on this activity and guys now. So first of all, let me show you the total number of videos in this device. So when I will click on this text view, choose video. So you can see that this activity is open and now we have total six videos fine. But uh, now when we will download, so now then we will have seven videos understand. So you can see that the activity is launched and now when I will click on this first download button. So you can see that the task is started downloading and here you can see download manager and now it is successfully downloaded fine. So after this guys, you can see that we have downloaded this first, first video. So after this, when I will click on this uh, choose video. So now we will have you can see that this is our uh, current time. You can see this is my our time and uh, now it is saved as a current time release and this is its size is showing here and uh, now we have seven videos. You can see that the video is downloaded successfully. So today in this tutorial, I will show you that how we can do this. So without wasting time, let's start. So it's for downloading videos permanently in your uh, external storage. What we need to do is guys. First of all, we have to go in this. Uh, manifest file and uh, here guys we have to add one more permission with this internet so let me add it user permission and that will be right external storage and uh, now it is read we want right external storage yeah so let me remove this fine now simply close it so guys after this is what we need to do is we have to go in this uh, layout file which is item.xml I think yeah it is item.xml and guys here we will use one more image button with uh, so here you can see that this is our item.xml file and uh, here guys you can see that I'm al already implementing this image button for saving time because I just want to make this tutorial short and useful so that is just a few lines of code it is not a complex thing you can see this is an image button and this is a source which is you can see that uh, it is drawable ic download and if we think uh, where i'm getting it simply click on this drawable then i have already shown you this in my two previous videos that uh, comments functionality and likes functionality you can see that this is a button you can get it from here that is a very easy step you can pause the video and uh, write the course and after this guys after this you have to go in this we hold the dot java because where we will declare a variable and also we will give reference so after this what you need to do is here simply you can see that this is the image button and we have to write here is download download btn find and after this guys you have to simply go inside this set like status button and simply write download button and then equals to item view dot find view by id then r dot id dot download button view holder you can see and you know guys this is the id of that button which we are using in this item.xml so you can see that yeah it's id download button view holder and uh, that is the same id download button view holder fine so hope you are understanding so after this what you need to do is simply close simply close this view holder java and then guys you have to come inside here in this uh, show video java so first of all what here we are going to do is uh, we have to declare a variable or you can say an integer and uh, we will use it for uh, runtime permissions for handling runtime permissions so simply write private and that is going to be private static final integer and its name will be permission permission underscore storage underscore code fine and that is going to be 1000 semicolon fine so after this uh, with this download url you have to declare one more for uh, video downloading yeah because we need it later fine so yeah i think what after this we need to do guys is you have to simply come inside this you can see that this is our holder dot set likes button status and uh, it is inside our on bind view holder you can see that this is all inside our bind inside this method on bind view holder so guys first of all here we will 
retrieve i mean first of all first thing that we are going to do is uh, when the user will click on the download button so we will check that we have permission for downloading for accessing internal storage is or not so if we have the permission so we will proceed the download and if we will not have so we will ask for it fine so guys after this what here we are going to do is uh, you can see that this is our show video dot java and here we will simply implement set on click listener method so simply write download button dot set on click listener method then new then on click listener method fine inside it we will check that if our operating system is marshmallow or above then after this we will proceed for runtime permissions so simply write build dot version and that will be dot sdk int equals to build dot version codes dot m for marshmallow then starting bracket and inside it first of all we will check again that if check for permission check calling or self permission then inside it we will write manifest dot permissions and that will be write external storage fine then simply equals to and inside it we will write package manager dot permission denied fine then starting bracket and inside it we will write is simply string string that will be permission then equals to manifest dot permission dot write external storage and then semicolon guys after this here we will request that permission so simply write request permission and inside it we are going to pass the string and then semicolon sorry this bracket and here simply permission but we also need a comma fine so i think now it should work pretty fine not here we need that comma here yeah so after this here you have to write that integer code that we have declared above and after declaring it you can see that here we have to write else and uh, inside this else we will write is uh, now we will need that download url that we have declared above so simply write equals to get item because we need the video url fine for downloading it so position then dot get video url fine so now it will simply get the url of that particular video and then we will create a new method and its name is going to be start downloading and the parameter will be url i mean it's string fine then guys after this what you need to do is simply write else starting bracket fine so inside this else again we are going to do is write download url equals to get item then position dot dot position we are using too much brackets yes so we have to remove one then get item position dot get video url then semicolon fine then again simply write that copy this method here from here control plus c then paste it here fine so now it is showing a red because we have not created it so simply click on this red bulb and then create method start downloading create method in show video dot java fine so guys now you can see that this method is created here and we have this parameter of string and its download url fine and why we are using it because we need that url for downloading that particular video fine so guys let me just yeah now it's fine so this is our comment button and uh, yeah this is for downloading so that is the enough part for this uh, downloading now we need to code is uh, we will code inside this start downloading method after few seconds but before this we will handle request permissions fine so so guys just after this uh, what we need to do here is uh, we will check on request permissions and uh, here we will handle the permissions granting and all so simply first thing that you need to do is remove that first line and guys here first of all we will write switch and that is going to be 
request code fine now inside it we will check that if uh, grant results oops if grant results dot length and uh, that is zero then what we will do is uh, greater than zero and then we will write grant results then zero again equals to package manager dot permission granted fine so it is showing red and uh, why it is showing error because we forget to write one line and that is case and it should be permission request code fine and then this and then inside start it starting bracket fine now it is better yes so you can see that now the error is gone and uh, it is looking much better so here what you need to do is simply you have to give that method start downloading and uh, then guys simply after this what we will do is we will code that as part so simply write not this we need else so inside that else we will show a toast message that permission denied simply write permission denied fine so when the user will cancel the permission so it will show this dot text message and now it's time to code inside this start downloading method so what we will do guys here is uh, that is very simple part we just need to implement download manager and uh, a simple uri then simply write download manager dot request so basically here we are requesting for downloading a file so simply write new download manager request and that is going to be uri dot parse then download url fine why we are doing it because it is a string so that is the easiest way to convert a string into uri then dot that will be set allow network types and uh, here guys we will give is uh, download manager dot request that is going to be network wi-fi fine because we will use wi-fi then again download manager dot request and that is going to be network mobile fine now what here you have to do is uh, it is showing red because we have to close this here yeah now it is not showing error fine then guys simply semicolon yeah then again you can simply write request dot set title that will be download download fine then semicolon again request dot set description set description and that will be downloading file fine then semicolon then again you have to write request dot allowed scanning by media scanner then again request dot set notification visibility inside it you will write download manager dot request and that will be dot visibility visible notify completed so when it will be completed it will simply notify us fine then we need a directory so simply write set destination in external public directory fine so here our data will be saved whatever we will download i mean our videos will be saved so simply write dot directory downloads and then here simply we have to write is adding and uh, we don't need dot we need comma so now you can see that it is showing sub path so guys here we will simply create that current milliseconds folder i mean it will be the name of that file current release fine then semicolon and guys after this what you need to do is simply 
last thing is download manager then manager equals to download manager that will be catch system service then context dot download service then semicolon and that will be the last line of this tutorial dot nq and then request then semicolon fine guys so now you can see that our coding part is almost complete so guys now i'm running this app in my emulator and uh, see is it working or not so in case if you get any error then let me know in comment section i will try to reply in next 24 hours yes guys so you can see that the activity is launched successfully there is no error so if i will click on this uh, text view show video so you can see that the activity is launched and video started loading so is after this you can see that when i will click on this second video to download so you can see that i clicked on it and uh, now you can see that it is downloading here fine so you can see that the video is uh, downloading and now it is downloaded successfully fine so you can see that the video is downloaded successfully and uh, our app is working absolutely fine so hope you like this video and uh, please like this video share my channel thank you for watching